Sam's all here. So we are going to this restaurant that we've been to a few times and um, it's a local restaurant so the menu items I'm not going to be able to find on my fitness pal. So this will be a good example to show you guys how you can fit your macros while you eat out. No matter where you are, there's going to be something on the menu that you can make work. Marshall, what are you doing? You want food? So lots of beef and lots of fried chicken. This is catching my eye. Grilled chicken wrap and I can add those sauce on the side. Deep fry, that's a no. That's a so salads are, you know, your typical salads. I could get a taco salad, but I don't want, I wouldn't want the bowl. <laughs> Caesar salad, but Caesar dressing time fat. Chef salad. I don't really want a salad though. So they have some fish stuff, buffalo shrimp that's breaded. Grouper sounds good, blackened. I'm gonna go with the wrap. It's got grilled chicken. I can take the wing sauce off. It doesn't come with a side that's gonna get me in trouble. I don't like coleslaw, so. Everything else is fried. Or beef. So yeah, simple as that. So I got the buffalo chicken wrap with the buffalo. It looks so good. It's just chicken, um, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. And I got the sauce on the side. And I got baked beans for my side, so I will see how I feel after I eat this wrap, because this wrap is humongous. And I won't eat the pickles, I don't like them. Marshall had a grilled cheese, or half a grilled cheese. He doesn't need the whole thing. And this is what I deal with, people. Thomas got a bunch of fried, sauced, I don't even know what, like, boneless buffalo wings? Fireballs. Fireballs. And then he got a side of mashed potatoes and cornbread because he just likes to make me miserable and cry. It started getting pretty wet so I just took out some tortilla. I tried the beans, they were really good. And I dipped a little bit of the wrap in the buffalo sauce. So I'll account for that. But I'm going to save the rest for home. There we go. So I'm home now and I am just adding everything into my fitness pal. I'm going to show you guys how I estimate the macros of this meal. Um, now when I eat out, um, if you're dieting, if you're trying to lose weight, that's your main priority or lose fat, um, definitely overestimate your portions. That's all. It's always best to rather be safe than sorry kind of thing. Um, so I'm estimating that there were about three ounces of uh, cooked chicken in there, so that'd be four ounces of uh, raw chicken. So I'm gonna add four ounces of chicken breast um, it was just grilled chicken. It was not marinated. If it was marinated, I would want to look up marinated chicken breast to note the extra fat or carbs from the marinade. But it was not, so I don't have to worry about that. So I've got the chicken. Um, there was no cheese on the wrap. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and add the macros for the entire meal because I am going to finish that wrap at some point today. So I've got the tortilla. Um, so when I looked up the tortilla, I definitely typed in large tortilla because that tortilla was large. It was a huge wrap. Uh, so I just typed in large white tortilla and there were a few different options that came up. They were anywhere between 100 calories to 150 calorie tortillas. Um, so I just went in the middle and I got one that was 130 calories um, for 3 grams fat, 22 grams carbs, and 4 grams protein. I'm also gonna add in a half tablespoon of mild uh, buffalo sauce because I did dip a little bit of buffalo sauce um, into the tortilla. So I'm estimating that I didn't actually use um, half a tablespoon. I probably used even less than that. Really, I, I did not use much at all. Um, but still, because buffalo sauce is high in fat, I'd rather be safe. Um, with the fat content, so I'm just going to add half a tablespoon. And I am going to add a cup of lettuce, but I'm not going to bother with the tomato or onion because it really wasn't enough 
um, for me to stress about the carbs, but you, it, you know, if you want to be really tedious with your macros, you can. Alright, so here are the macros to the meal. I've got the large tortilla, the lettuce, the buffalo sauce, chicken breast. Um, I just entered a verified entry for chicken breast that I knew was correct because all chicken breast has the same macros. <laughs> And then I um, I added in, so I had about two bites of baked beans, so I just wanted to add that in there. So total, it comes out to be 313 calories with 28 grams carbs, 7 grams fat, and 33 grams protein. Not a bad lunch at all. So yeah, that was lunch. And really good macros, really delicious meal. Um, two meals, really, split it in half. So a few tips for while you're eating out. Uh, definitely the first one is if you're trying to diet, if you're trying to lose weight or lose fat, um, overestimate the serving size for sure. Um, for people like me that have to be very careful about their fat intake, um, that's why I stuck to, I, want, I knew I wanted to get either grilled chicken um, or a white fish or I was eyeing that turkey sandwich because that is another lean protein So I had my eye out for a lean protein I was definitely staying clear of the fried foods and also the beef um, Because they probably don't use lean ground beef, so it's gonna be a high fat content um, And just you know <laughs> just be smart. I think that most of us uh, Know what needs to be done when we go to eat out but we see all those delicious fried foods and yummy foods that aren't so, so macro friendly and we choose those. Or we get an appetizer or eat a bunch of the bread and butter, you know, we get ourselves in trouble other ways. So I think that most of us um, understand what a good item option would be at a restaurant and it just comes down to the willpower of ordering that option. Um, and my advice for that is to plan ahead. So like go check the menu online before you go to the restaurant and figure out what you want that's gonna keep you within your macros. And don't keep looking at the menu. Don't keep reading through it and you know tempting yourself with other options. Stick to your plan and I think that you'll be glad you did because that was still a really delicious uh, lunch even though it wasn't fried or whatever. Um, I still had a really good lunch and I felt good after. I wasn't like overly stuffed, you know, feeling like, you know, stomach is yucky from greasy food and all that. I felt good and I had food for later. So I know it's hard sometimes, um, definitely sometimes when I eat out there, I don't get something macro friendly. Actually, every time that we've been there, um, I've it's, it's a, like a free meal. We've been there a few times and we go there for a free meal. So um, it was fun to show you guys that you can still stay on track. So I hope this helps and please subscribe and like this video if it was helpful so I know to continue to make more. And just drop a comment below if you have any questions at all about macros or whatever. All right, bye.